Hey everyone, welcome to The Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. Dirk Heron. Back with another movie review for you guys. And this is for the brand new movie starring Halle Berry called Kidnap. <laughs> and uh, it is what you'd call, I guess, a dramatic thriller. Uh, more thriller than anything else, but um, there was a little bit of drama thrown in there. And we'll do this like our typical review setup. We'll talk about our overall thoughts, then the story, the acting, the effects, anything pertinent. And uh, let's uh, jump right into it, Dirk. I'm not anticipating this being the longest of our reviews, but we'll see. This was a sneak preview, although I think some people have already seen the film um, even before now. And I think it's wide release this weekend. Yep. Um, now, uh, the, the, well, I'll get to that in the acting, I, uh, I guess. Um, starting off, my overall thoughts were, uh, are rather... Um, it was... Exactly what the ad, uh, you know, the trailer, we reacted to the trailer on the channel and we actually had really positive reactions to the trailer, but unfortunately um, the movie did not rise uh, above the level that the trailer set. It, it got to the level that the trailer set and then it pretty much stayed on that level through the entire movie. Um, it, it plateaued real early. And it never really got any more interesting than that. Uh, it never really gained any bit of depth like I was hoping it might. And uh, so, yeah, overall, I guess, uh, um, while I can't say it was predictable on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, the end was pretty much a foregone conclusion in my mind. So, uh, overall, just disappointed. What about for you? It just made me a upset really i know there's there's just too many moments in the movie that like was like it was just like a coincidence you know like so it's, convenient it's, yeah there was too many convenient uh moments in the movie that uh allowed the plot to, to continue and like uh i, I don't know it, it, it it's one of those movies that she's doing everything wrong and somehow still getting to her son mm -hmm. You know, like, I, I don't know. There was just, there's too many cringe moments yeah. in that movie. Yeah, and, and not not the least of which was some of the dialogue at times. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so story-wise, uh, just like the trailer shows, pretty much right off the bat, we're introduced to Halle Berry and her son um, through the, the pre-credit, or the, the during credits, you know, um, home video footage, mm -hmm. which I thought was, was relatively effective, although yeah. nowhere near new. Seeing uh, the boy grow up and everything. Right, that was kind of cool, and it did develop an attachment, um, and then they go to a, a park, and pretty rapidly the kid is taken, um, within like the first seven minutes of the movie, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it, it, gets, it gets to the point really mm -hmm. quick. And that, and again, that is something I have to mention. Story-wise, the movie did move. Like it, it never. I'd be surprised if it was longer than eighty minutes. Like it must yeah. have been like eighty-six it or felt, something. It felt really short. It was really fast. Um, so if it wasn't short, then you know credit to the pacing. But if yeah. it was short, then it felt like it. Yeah. Um, but uh, but not not to its detriment. I actually was glad that it was over as quickly as it was. <laughs> yeah. Because to draw it out any more would have just felt like padding and felt like purposely drawing it out any more yeah. than it did. So um, the kid gets taken and literally Halle Berry spends the rest of the movie on the trail of the kidnappers somehow. Even somehow. though she loses them multiple times, she yeah. manages to find them again. Yeah. While there were moments of intrigue and flashes of, I guess, uh, uniqueness there wasn't nearly enough of it to satisfy or sustain the film. Yeah, she creates a lot of carnage. There's yes. a lot of car accidents because of uh, her recklessness. Mm -hmm. But uh, I understand that, you know, she's like a mother on pursuit. Mm -hmm. And so she'll do anything. But then, like, at one moment, she, like, saves a person's life. Mm -hmm. And then it... That, that was another point that, like, really upset me was because, like, all right, her airbag goes off mm -hmm. and side know, impact though yeah but the thing is is that if your airbag goes off in your car you're you can't restart your car. all the electronics shut down yeah yeah that's really a, yeah it's a safety method hmm. because you know if you did restart your car and like what if you were uh, leaking gas then you could 
potentially blow True. yourself up. True. So, so there are logic flaws yeah, all throughout definitely. the movie. <laughs> There's a lot of logical flaws. Um, and uh, the the weird thing about it is, since we saw it in the uh, the preview screening, the audience around us seemed to be really on board. Like I, they, I, 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 there's no. There's no accounting for taste, I suppose, but uh, but you know, and everyone's it, film is subjective, and they just seem to be along for the ride, like yeah. completely invested, and like there was a lot of gasps and like oh no's and things like that, and it's just like <laughs> really guys, and, and this people, is what you're invested in. People cheered at the end of the movie. Yeah, too. yeah, I, I was really surprised. I don't know. I, I, it, it played well, like. I was going into it hoping it was going to be as interesting and fun as Ransom was in the 90s. Mm -hmm. um, it was not. <laughs> um, it was more action-y, but not even... It wasn't even action-action, it was just a lot of driving. Yeah, and it was a really loose plot. Like, yeah, and and I gotta say the editing was weird. Um, oh, at often. times, yeah. Uh, like, often times there was editing choices where you're like, Wait, what? Why did you show me that? <laughs> what? What? What's the, with the... There's no... There was no, like, there's a certain rhythm to a good edit, and uh, there was no discernible rhythm to this edit at all. Um, uh, it was not, it was, for the amount of driving that we got, there was nowhere near the intrigue of, like, if you're going to do a lot of driving, mimic some of the better ones, mimic some of the early Bourne movies, mimic Ronin, you know, mimic some of the best driving movies, but this was just... Literally, they just strapped a camera onto the hood of some cars every now and again, and, and that was, like, en en enough to them. And it was just not nowhere near enough for me. Um, so, uh, I guess let's segue into the acting, since we're just hammering on the story and the execution of it. Um, Halle Berry was good at times and laughable at other times. Yeah. Uh, like, it, like it, towards the it, near the beginning, I liked it. I thought she was on point. Um, I thought she reacted well i thought she made very dumb choices as a mother yeah but um you know i thought that she reacted well at the, towards the beginning um effectively however there were some times where she just made the dumbest decisions and seemed like almost self-satisfied with some of those decisions like yeah I'm, i was i was right to do that and it's just like no that was stupid like, <laughs> uh, so um so she frustrated me the kid was almost not on screen at all. Right. Uh, what I what I did want to mention, acting wise, is uh, the 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 one of the two main kidnappers, um, or the, one of the two kidnappers, I should say, uh, is uh, played by someone that we've actually had on our channel, uh, Mr. Lou Temple from The Walking Dead. Uh, he played uh, Axel on The Walking Dead, and I think the third season, and then he's been doing uh, movies ever since, and. He was nice enough to do an interview with our very own Marsha Parker uh, for the channel, so I'll link to that at the end of this episode because it was really cool seeing him. I was like, hey, I know that guy. Um, brought me out of the movie a little bit, but, uh, <laughs> but you know, outside of that, it was cool to see him acting and stuff. So what did you think of the acting? I don't know. There was, there was a lot of moments where... Uh... You know, since it's such a thin plot, mm -hmm. like they had to throw dialogue in there, and like she, she, she's constantly talking to herself, mm -hmm. and and those moments were cringeworthy. Yeah. Plus, you know, like there was, there was kind of this undertone of like, you know, that she's very religious. Or, or, really? Yeah, she was. She well, that one point where she was like, oh. Please, Jesus, save my... Yeah, you know, oh, yeah, the, then, towards the beginning. You know, well, then they abandoned it after that, didn't they? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Really there, was, there, was a, there was a lot of... I, I think there was parts where she was just like, Oh, God, Jesus, you know? Well, and I, I think that's just I, exclamation, though. I, but I don't but, know, maybe I'm I don't wrong. know. I just... Maybe, maybe if... Uh, I don't know, if you're a good Christian and watching this movie, yeah, you would enjoy it a little bit more. You... you, you Righteous her, justice. <laughs> yeah, be on her side. Even though, like, yeah, there was, like, so many car accidents. And, like, you know, I guess she takes a moment to, like, you know, look through her rearview mirror to see the car. As and she's she... driving away. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, and, like, well, it's oh, so funny, too, because sometimes Jesus. she tries to, like, she justifies, like, it's so funny. She makes a decision, right? And any normal person would just make the decision and go with it and stay quiet and move on. Uh -huh. But, like, she makes a decision and then she, like, 
literally goes through and exposes, like, does exposition about, like, okay, well, if this happens, then, then, then the cops will have seen it, and then they'll send someone out looking for me like this. And it's like she's trying to justify her actions to us, the audience. Yeah. And it's like, no, that's not how that would work. No, and, like... That's not a good enough justification either. Like I don't know. I don't know. And there was there was frustration. Yeah, there was times where like it almost seems like she's chasing them for hours. Yeah. And 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 she's not trying to get anybody to attention. No. And and well, and that, like twice she does. Twice. Yeah. You know, but like I don't know. You would think that you would try to get people aware of like the situation more often. Um, yeah. And yeah, there was like no police. In that movie. No. Uh, uh, until like there was a couple times, but still, like no, I, nothing, for, nothing for, that especially made sense. for how nothing long they sense. were driving. Yeah, they, they, yeah, it's so many logic flaws and so many plot holes that you could drive a red minivan through. <laughs> um, it's just, it, it was just, it, it was frustrating. Um, the effects, not much to speak of. I mean, practical crashes and stuff, but nothing yeah. that we haven't seen for the last fifty years in yeah. cinema. Better. Uh, and then uh, I will say though that the one thing that I dug until it, it like towards the end I realized here's what I liked I liked the music as it went along yeah and I was like okay cool the music's driving and the music's you know driving along with the plot and it's working and it's like okay cool it's like yeah moving us on to the next thing and then I'm like by the end I'm like Oh, so literally the music is driving this movie. Like, <laughs> it's like almost they scored everything, and then they're like, "Okay, we need to film her doing this, this, and this, and then more action, more action, more action." Like, it just, it, it just seemed like it, it, it was too much. It was too much. There wasn't enough characters. Too much of the same sort of thing. But it started off good, and then just started to be really noticeable towards the end for me. Yeah, I don't know. There, there was like moments that were like oh i didn't see that coming mm -hmm. but then like they don't explain uh how certain characters got certain places right. and uh well i knew that was gonna happen but it's, but, it, but there was no you'd think they would explain it but no yeah i don't know like there wasn't enough time for that person to get where they needed to be it's yeah like. yeah you're probably right you're so, probably right so I, um, I don't know there was Again, just <laughs> issues just, with uh, potholes, you know? Yeah, it just had me scratching my head. Uh, uh, yeah. And, yeah. And, and sighing. I was doing a lot of sighing while I was watching And then, yeah, movie. towards the end, there's a, a quote-unquote <laughs> twist that's just like, that's that's <laughs> shut down very fast, and it's yeah. just like, okay, why? Why'd you even do that? <laughs> like, I guess, I guess a little more tension, but like that, it just didn't work. Yeah. It didn't work. The whole thing didn't work for me. Um, I, but for, again, I, it must be said that for whatever reason, it seemed to work for a lot of people in the theater. Yeah. I don't know. Not all of them. Because I did hear, I did hear a couple of other people talking about how Halle Berry was really going for a Razzie with this one. Yeah. But then I, I heard a lot of other people being like, oh my goodness. You know, like. But, you know, like we, we were sitting in the press area. And was, right. The very front. And, uh. The guy next to me, he was sighing at every was moment. He? <laughs> like he, he was having a tough time with the movie as well. So that's funny. All right. So, so it wasn't just us then. Okay. So well, there you go, guys. I think that's going to cover our thoughts on Cal <laughs> Cali, Halle Berry's <laughs> kidnap. Uh, oof. I don't know that I'd even recommend you. Uh, definitely don't go to the theater and pay to see this. <laughs> no. Um, definitely don't pay to see it on VOD. Uh, maybe catch it on Netflix if it comes on for free or, or yeah. something like that. But don't. I would not shell out the money for this one. No. Uh, everyone got paid. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Everyone will have careers after this. But it just was a by the numbers. And here's the thing. It's it's again in the, in the world of of three Taken movies and a Taken TV show, you know, it's it's the same thing, you know? It's, it's, it's but just done poorly. Yeah. So, ah, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> let us know in the comments down below if you guys are interested in actually watching this one or if we have swayed you one way or the other. Again, we wanted to see it after the trailer reaction, but uh, after the movie itself, bum deal, yeah. so... Great, interested in your guys' opinions. Great trailer, bad movie. Exactly. So, <laughs> thanks again for watching. Until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. Dirk Heron. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared.